Hey, I hope you're having a great day today. We wanted to take a second and tell you a little bit about the check-in and check-out process at First Christian Church. The reason why we have this process is because we want to keep a better track of who is coming in and out of our doors on a weekly basis. And the second reason, and more important one, is that we want to make sure our children are the most secure they can be. Now, if you're new or if you haven't been here for a while, this is going to be a new thing for you. So we want to make sure we go through this process with you in this video to tell you to, to make this process as seamless and headache free as possible. The first thing that we're going to need, no matter who you are, is the intake form. On the intake form, you have three particular boxes. The first one is student information, second one is parent information, and the third one is medical, special need, allergy type information. This form is very important to what we do because we want to make sure that we have the proper child information, we have the proper parent information, and obviously we have any other pertinent information that we need to know in order to take care of this, ch this child in the best possible way. The second part of the process, and this one will be done on a weekly basis, is the actual check-in form. Now with the check-in form, when you actually check in, there'll be two different processes for checking in and checking out, but it's on the same form. So when you check in, you'll have the student name, you'll have the parent name, you'll have your end time, but then you'll also have this number slot. This number slot is important because this is our physical um, piece of information that we have uh, for the, the, pickup, the pickup as well as the check-in and the check-out process. So the first one is if you have a three-year-old three year all the way up through a fifth grader, you'll have a two-badge setup. With the two-badge setup, one number will be clipped to your child. The second number will be clipped or, or put in your pocket. You'll just need to make sure you have that, that piece of information. Um, and that piece of information will be important when you go to pick up your child. If you have a nursery age or a one and two-year-old, you'll use an address label with the number um, written on it as well as the child's name written on it. You'll stick that to the back of the child, right? And you'll keep the other, you'll keep the badge for yourself. And then when you go to actually check out, you'll come back to the form. The form will be in each of the classrooms. You'll go, you'll go to the class. You'll show the teacher your badge number. They will retrieve your child for you as well as any belongings associated with the child. You'll make sure you put the out time as well as the initial, just so we know who's picking up the child. And then you'll take, if you have a two badge set up, you'll take the two badges, you'll clip them back together, throw them in the basket just outside of the classroom. Or if you have a label and single badge set up, you'll just take that single badge and you'll throw it right in the basket outside of the classroom. This should make the process seamless and headache free for those um, putting it together, as well as you guys who are practicing it each and every week. It should make it very simple. And I hope that this is a process that makes you and your children feel, feel more secure at First Christian Church each and every week. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.